This is the secret to great ball striking with your irons. And more importantly, these elusive long irons. I want you, yes you watching this right now, to lift your head. Don't let that scare you. Too many golfers, how many times? You probably said it to one of your playing partners. Ah, oh, bad shot because you lifted your head. Well, you not lifting your head in the correct way is costing you on compression, control, and club face sentence to strike. Let's talk about lifting your head in the downswing. Many golfers will associate lifting your head as sort of coming in our downswing and this move. Now, not for one minute do we want that, but what we do want is this move, okay? Because it's gonna allow us to move our chest more, it's gonna allow us to transfer our weight, and it's gonna allow us to get our hands ahead of the golf ball. And we know, we know the theory, don't we, everybody? That is how we're gonna get a much better sense of strike, a much better downwards hit, and actually compress these longer irons. Okay, so this for me is a great way to start the downswing, but most importantly, what happens in sort of the most unspoken part of the golf swing, this bit here, from impact to sort of hip height on the way through. Countless YouTube videos that aren't on this bit, we're gonna talk about this whole bit, okay? So start off, let's get our golf club, and that's all I want you to do is put your arms on the golf club like this. Palms up to the sky, arms on the side of your body, and you can sort of see how I've got set up there. Now, if I was just to rock and keep my head still, Probably as far as I can go back and through, right? Okay. Now watch me move my head on the way through. Look how much more it sort of frees up my mid spine and my thoracic area to actually move this way. Now, a lot of you watching this video will start your downswing. Head's got to stay still. Concentrate on the ball. Looking like this. Finding it so, 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 so hard to get into your left hand side no longer. Now, what I want you to do with this drill, as part of your warm up, before you even consider hitting any balls at the range, move it to the top, and as your left shoulder works down, I want you to feel as though your eyes are starting to trace to where the golf ball is going to move to. And just do this slowly, and you can really see how, I'm not even thinking about my weight, but my weight and my chest is more down, and my weight is more to target. Those things are fantastic for controlling low point. We want low point to move ahead of the gold ball than iron because that allows us to get ball and turf impact. Now you watch the opposite. I don't lift my head. Where's my weight stay? At best, just a little bit into my left side. At best. So three stages to this. And, th and to this first part, there's three stages as well. So watch this again, we're gonna do it slowly and through. We really allow my eyes to work in this aspect and head lifting up and around. Stage two, a little bit faster. Stage three, on this first part, a little bit faster again. Can you start to see what dots we're pulling together here? Can you start to see how this is gonna really help you strike the golf ball, lift your head? Okay, so guys, at any point, if you are watching this video and you are enjoying it, please don't hesitate to subscribe and turn the bell notification on as well. The footy's back. Let's address this footy. Let's watch, show you again. Head stays still. I'm gonna really feel as though my eyes are tracing on an arc through this space here. So this is into stage two now, okay? I showed you just off the golf ball. So me allowing my eyes to trace lifts my head, transfers my weight, and gets me with that chest being down, not chest up. So if you were hitting some golf balls away on the golf course now, or even on the range, I'd possibly work in a set of five. I would hit three golf balls away just at this pace, just like this. So whatever club you feel comfortable, lift the head and through. Now you're gonna see a slow motion of that. How much different did that look? I wasn't even thinking about rotating to my left. I wasn't even thinking about getting my chest down. 
eyes working to target. Now, for one minute, that's going to scare you taking it to the golf course. I'm not going to ask you to not look at the ball for one iota. But what I am going to ask you to do is this. Follow the spots on the ball. And this is how you're going to do it. We've got the footy out in a different aspect. Uh, my dog Daisy would uh, not going to appreciate me using it. So everything that we're looking to get an impact with an iron is more chest down, more weight into the left, and this aspect. Everything we don't want is this aspect. Okay, so if you're brave enough, borrow your dog's football. If not, go and grab a football of some capacity. Watch me here. I'm going to throw two away. Get in those comments. Is ball one, eyes following the ball, or eyes working to target, is or ball two? So you watch me here. That's ball one. This is ball two. So you can clearly see, hopefully, everybody has gone for ball two because what does this allow me to do? Chest working to target, weight working to target, allowing everything to transfer just by me following and lifting my head in this capacity, not trying to keep so focused on the ball. So don't focus on the ball, lift your head. That is what I want you to think about in today's video. It might sound a little bit left field, but I truly, truly believe I wouldn't tell you if it wasn't gonna benefit your game. So on the golf course now, I want you to use this analogy. Once you've struck the ball, can you feel as though your eyes are tracing the spots on the ball? And a little bit of a trick to do this, and this is what I'm going to really recommend you do. So if I grab a towel, let's give it a clean. Now look at this. I don't know if anybody does. Do you collect anything when you go to certain golf courses? I feel a bit bad hitting this, but look at that one. I'd love to hear what we all collect. I've started actually collecting ball markers um, because just getting a little memento for everywhere we've been. So I want you to draw a spot on the ball and you're going to put that on every tee shot and you could possibly put that all over the ball um, so when you get on the fairway you've always got a spot visible. This thing has become an absolute weapon of choice for me. I go to it probably more than driver at the minute. Right. Nice simple analogy, I'm putting it to the test, I need you to put it to the test, and if you are going to put this to the test, smash those comments, Alex, I'm putting it to the test, because I want to hear how I'm helping you improve. At the end of the day, I create this content for you to help you improve, so without your support, well, it's harder to make YouTube videos, right? So please get in those comments saying, I am putting it to the test. Nice and simple, eyes follow the spot. give it you've got to give it a tiger little uh, twirl haven't we if we get a nice shot so there we go thank you so much for watching today's youtube video i know i told you to lift your head it's something that you've probably never heard before but i promise you it's going to get your chest more down it's going to get your weight rotated into your left hand side without even thinking about it thanks for watching and see you tomorrow at the same time